Willie didn't say my name, but he did give me his rod, so I'll count that as a win. Hello everyone, today I've got yet another amazing trick to show you. I think a lot of you are going to find this trick really helpful, really amazing, really useful because it can give you any item in the game pretty simply. You don't have to do any mods, add anything to the game, it's all done within the game. Really easy, let me show you how it works. Now I really had no idea this trick even existed which is pretty amazing. I thought I knew pretty much everything about this game but clearly I've still got a lot to learn. I saw this used in a speed run and basically how it works is that every item in the game is assigned an item number. Now if you name things with these item numbers they spawn every time that person is mentioned. For example, if I start a new farm and I name my player 645, 499 and 163, that will give me some really amazing and helpful items every time someone mentions my name because those are the item numbers for an ancient seed, iridium sprinkler and the legend fish. I picked those because right from the beginning you can have an iridium sprinkler watering ancient seeds and the legend fish is actually the most valuable item in the game to sell. Though to be fair, when you start it's the same price as a treasure chest so take your pick on which one you'd want to use there. After you upgrade your fishing skill the legend fish is worth more. And a quick note about this trick, usually the first two items are mostly seen, sometimes the third one is not so take your pick on which one you want to spawn more often. That's why I use 645 the Iridium Sprinkler and 499 the Ancient Seed because I want lots of those. The extra money from the Legend Fish on the end, number 163, not as important so if it gets missed out, that's okay. And if you're going to use this trick, do not skip the intro. You get some items because they say your name within the intro so we're going to do that for the first time ever. So during the intro, as soon as we arrive in Stardew Valley, we're greeted by Robin who says our name. Though she's saying the second part of our name rather than the first part so I had that backwards. That's okay, I'll still get an Iridium Sprinkler and the Legend Fish and that's more than I ever start with before. Now we skip through the intro and then we get one more time our name said, I think by the mayor. And right here at the end of the introduction, my name gets said again so more items for me. One of these spawns all three items, the other I think only spawns two. Whatever the case, lots of items for me. As Soon as I start, watch me go. Whatever the case, here we are, just starting out, brand new farm, already have two iridium sprinklers, two ancient seeds, and a fish worth 5,000 gold. Plus my 15 parsnips of course, what would we do without those? By planting these, we're off to a pretty good start on this farm. Of course, since Willy's isn't open on the first day, we can't sell the legend fish right away so I'm just gonna throw it in the bin and on day two we're gonna have 5,000 gold to spend on whatever I want, probably gonna be more seeds because I have two iridium sprinklers, might as well use that space up. Just like that, 11am on the first day, 15 parsnips planted, 2 iridium sprinklers, still got lots of room to plant stuff and the 2 ancient seeds are all the way down there. Let's go buy some more seeds. And while we're at it, see if I can get anyone to say my name. I haven't really played around too much from this point, I don't know who can say my name, under what context. So we'll go meet people, see what happens. Starting with Pierre, we'll go right behind to see him. That worked, there we go, hello it's Mr. Items, ancient seeds and iridium sprinklers. Also Abigail. Any name? She does not say my name, that's okay, still got one person to say it, that's all that matters so far. While I am at it here, I'm gonna buy as many cauliflower seeds as I can. Because the most valuable seeds are priority, the legend fish are gonna give me more money than I could possibly need right now anyway, so might as well just plant the most valuable seeds on top of that. They're the less work, they take the longest to grow. Marnie, say my name. Nope. And nope, that's okay, we'll find someone else. This is green hair? Yeah, there we go. Legend fish, ancient seeds, iridium sprinkler. That's not too bad so far. This is going to be the first time I meet everyone on the first day. Leah's here too, just strolled in. The store's a good place to be right now. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a lovely time to move here. The spring is lovely. Say my name, please. That's all I want. Everyone say my name. We know this one's too dumb to even say it. He can't even pronounce it. Nope, nothing from him. Penny, while we're here, she's strolling on by. Hi. Oh, did you want something? I want you to say my name, please. That's all I want. Oh, you know what? The mayor, the good mayor Lewis, he'll probably say my name. He loves being formal. Oh, he's not even here. He's probably with Marnie. No mayor Lewis, but I found Dr. Boring. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor, and my name is... Wow, so it turns out everyone's out and about on the first day. I've never really paid attention to their schedules, but here's Jody. She doesn't want to say my name. What about the old lady? She might. I think she calls me Sunny or something weird like that. Granny if you like. Well I call her Granny but she doesn't want to say my name. Thanks to my cheating ways though, I know Mayor Lewis is at the beach, we'll go bug him. Hopefully he'll say my name. I really just want one more person to do it, I'd be really happy with that. And I can't even get to him. I can see by my cheating ways he's here at the beach, he's in the fishing shop. He's there with Willy. Not sure what they're doing on the first day but I'm sure it involves Willy's rod. 
Not a big deal, we'll go plant this stuff up. And just a thought, another really good use for doing the legend fish over the treasure chest is it can also be really good energy and health. 500 energy, 200 health. That'll bring you right back up to max levels if you ever need more energy. The treasure chest doesn't do anything except for be sold. Like I said, they're equal value, but if your fishing skill levels up, the legend fish is worth considerably more. It goes all the way up to 7,500, might even be more. The crop's coming along nicely, getting pretty big. One more legend fish for the bin, easy money. Still two more radium sprinklers. I'm not even going to bother to put those down yet because I just don't have the room. So let's sleep on it. Continue on tomorrow. Look at those earnings. One day, 10,000 gold. That's the first day. So easy. And for those curious people out there wondering if this trick works anywhere else, well, it does. I've finally found a use for my children. Look at that name. What a lovely name. That name gives me a pale ale because children cause me to drink. The 163 is a legend fish because the children can finally make me rich. And the 74 is a prismatic shard. That way the child can pay for its own removal. Everything I ever wanted out of a kid. Now in saying that, it doesn't give you those items every time you talk to the child. You have to get the child mentioned, which is done by your spouse. And she doesn't always do it because look at her, she's a hot mess. But on the days when she does mention it, it works great. I get those items, the children make me rich, and eventually I can remove them, basically free of charge. It also works too, you get a second child, the wife brings up talking about one child, about the other, blah blah blah. Easy stuff. But also, there's another way to utilize this trick. Animals, of course. A chicken costs 800 gold. But using these numbers, I get my money back right away because I get a prismatic shard, a treasure chest, and a legend fish. Keep in mind that animal names, for some reason, are just one digit shorter. That means that you can have two three number items and then one two number item. That's why I use a prismatic shard in this case. So, name your new animal, done. Marnie says its name out loud. There's the items on the left prismatic shard, treasure chest, legend fish. The chicken pays for itself. So really this could just be a money maker in itself. I could go sell the chicken, get the items again, repeat that, make hundreds of thousands of gold in a single day. Or get whatever I other items I want. This can be done to get all sorts of artifacts. I could get the dinosaur egg, get a dinosaur, get whatever I need to complete the museum, the dwarf scrolls, rare things, weapons, whatever. This trick is great, gets you whatever you want. It's easiest to do with the animals because you have something you can constantly name on any given day, sell, name again. So, for the, any of you having any issues out there getting items, use that. We'll sell this just to show you how much it's worth. Even though it showed it right there, I just like sleeping on it. Watch the value of this. Thanks to my purchase of a chicken, there's 14,500 gold. And while we're at it, let's see if Dum Dum's gonna mention our child for once. There we go. See? Prismatic shard. Legend fish. Pale ale. I knew I'd find a use for those kids one day and finally it's here. It's a good day to be me. Anyways, back to the new farm I started to really emphasize the point on how far ahead this trick can jump you. So I now have 10,000 gold to spend, two more sprinklers to put down, so we're going to plant a whole bunch more cauliflower. And in a few short days, we're going to be rich and already have a mega crop on our hands. I know I could just be making a lot of money just getting people to say my name and getting the legend fish and selling that every day, but laying down the sprinklers and expanding my crop every day will actually outrun the kind of money I can make by the legend fish before too long, especially at the way it's growing. I get a few ancient seeds here and there, just keep expanding the crop. I could have this whole field full in no time at all. That would be huge money. The most time consuming part of this is actually going to be clearing the field because I need to clear so much space every day to keep up with production. It would almost be worth using the item number for mega bombs to clear out the field really fast. But whatever, I've made my choice now. Let's go buy some more seeds. We'll do cauliflower again. I've bought 100 just because I can. I have the money for it, still have 2,000 gold left over. I don't have room to plant these yet, but I will soon. While I'm here and have everyone here, I want to see if anyone's going to say my name. Need a few more sprinklers for all these cauliflower. Pierre's usually good for that. No? No name? I'm not sure either about checking the mail. Sometimes it says my name in the mail when people uh, send me stuff. I'm not sure if that's going to be the case or not. So far, no one wants to say my name. The seeds are all down, 29 left over, that means I just planted another 71. That in itself is huge money for the start of the game. The best part is, I don't even have to water those. The sprinkler will start watering them tomorrow, and I've got so much time now anyway that I just don't care. What I am doing right now is going to see Willy. He sent me the letter about going to get the fishing rod from him. I think he's going to say my name, hopefully even twice, that'll give me more sprinklers, more seeds, more everything. Maybe Sam will say my name? Say my name. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. My name is... nothing. Hopefully Willie says my name. I think he's going to. He seems to like to say my name if I remember correctly. Ahoy oh, there, son. Say my name. I'm gonna go talk to him in the store. See if he wants to say it now. I doubt it, but... He just calls me son. 
no good. What I'm going to do now is simply skip ahead to where all these are done, check the mail, see if anyone says my name in the mail. If not, I'll just collect all the money from the cauliflower and that'll be that. The 15th of spring today, my crops are all ready to go, aside from the ancient seeds of course, but they'll take a while but they'll be the most profitable of all. The crows did get quite a few of the cauliflowers, not a huge amount, I'm not worried about that. One thing one might consider doing is picking the parsnips earlier, that way you can upgrade your farming skill, make yourself some scarecrows, avoid this problem altogether. I'm going to sell these right away because I don't have room in my backpack for anything more. In fact, I'm going to put a bunch of crap in my chest, that way I can actually do this properly. Okay, pick these all, put them in the bin, show you how much money I made so effortlessly. And since I've got all the space and unused seeds, I might as well lay some more of these down, just because. Why not? It's that easy. Oh, and gonna check the mail, see if anyone in here says my name. They did, but apparently it doesn't count. I got cookies out of the deal, so I'll take that. Anytime I get cookies, that's a win. I guess the mail doesn't count either. So, the money made so far, using this little trick I found. Uh, farming's leveled up, level 2, level 3, level 4. Okay, that's easy farming experience. And there's 13,000 gold from that. Obviously could have been a lot more had I been going around getting people to say my name. But that's easy farming experience and that was an easy crop and I could have had another one at least that size planted already, no problem. So this is a really cool trick, glad I came across it. Hopefully you guys find this one pretty useful. Like I said, there's a few different ways to use it. Name your character it, name your children it. But the most useful that I found, name your chickens after it. They're cheap to buy, you can get a whole bunch of items from them. Buy a chicken, get the item, sell the chicken, rinse, repeat. Easy money, easy whatever you want. Use it to get the artifacts you can't find, use it to make money, use it for whatever. The power is unlimited. If you haven't seen my channel before, go ahead and check it out. Lots of other videos in there, new videos up all the time. Blah blah blah, hope you like this one, thank you all for watching.